。私の名前はベン・クレアモントです。実際、私は時々英語を話すのに苦労します。しかし、それは問題ではありません。なぜなら、キャップカット AI 翻訳では、今、私は流暢な日本語を話すことができます。ボタンをクリックするだけで、Now, I don't know exactly how accurate these translations are, but you've got to admit that was crazy good. CapCut literally moved my mouth in a way that looked natural and not like an AI generation. So, here in CapCut, I've imported my clips with the dialogue in plain English. My name is Ben Claremont. What I did was select my video clips that have audio embedded in them. Then, up here inside the audio menu, I chose video translator. Now, you want to choose which language you're speaking, which is English for me, and what you want to translate it to. There's not a lot of options here, but I'm going to choose Japanese. Now, it will take a bit of time to apply this effect, but the results are truly mind blowing. One downside of this, I will say, is that it seems to reduce. Video quality. This effect seems to add an automatic color grade and reduce the quality. I don't know if it's integrating this with an external plugin and using proxies, but this is definitely lower quality than my original video. But still, I think I might have fooled you in that opening, so feel free to use this tool for entertainment or for serious use. And you also don't need a video track to do this, you can record straight into CapCut. So I'm going to move the playhead into this empty space and set up a recording. I've got my video mic here attached to my computer and I'm gonna record and say something. Hi, my name is Ben and I have gas. Also known as gear acquisition syndrome. So here's my audio file, and if I go up to the top right, again, you'll find audio translator here. So there is obviously no video track above the audio, but you can do the same thing. I'm going to choose English and translate to, let's try a different one. What about Portuguese? I'm seriously worried about how this is going to turn out. Okay, let's listen. Meu nome é Bing. E eu tenho gás, também conhecido como síndrome de aquisição de engrenagens. <laughs> There you go. To anyone watching this that speaks Portuguese, let me know. How well did it do? I've noticed that with these translations, sometimes it starts a little bit too early or late. So you'll need to adjust the top and tail of your clip so it doesn't cut off any words. Oi, meu nome é Bing. E eu tenho gás, também conhecido como síndrome de aquisição de engrenagens. This is seriously mind blowing stuff. And I added that explosion effect by going to effects and then searching explosion, then adding it to my timeline. Now, since we're on the topic of working with multiple languages, inside CapCut, there's a feature that will automatically translate whichever language you're speaking into another language and add it down below as a subtitle. So here I have one part of my Japanese dialogue. And what I'm going to do is up the top left, you'll find an option that was added in a recent update, and that is captions. If you click that and then head down to auto captions, firstly, you can choose the language that you're speaking. It will try to auto detect it, but you can tell it what you're speaking. I'm going to choose Japanese, since CapCut has translated my English into Japanese. And what I'm going to do is retranslate this back into English. And you will need the pro version of CapCut to do this. So you want to click bilingual captions, and I'm going to choose English. Now, once I hit generate, it's going to generate not one, but two lines of captions. And there we go. That's done such a good job, I think, anyway, since I don't obviously speak Japanese. But the fact that you can add multiple captions in two different Languages with the pro version of CapCut is pretty amazing. If you're working with the free version of CapCut, that's fine. You can still choose just one language, so whichever language you're speaking in the video, and it will create auto captions. The next AI feature is extremely cool and also a little bit creepy. So, up the top left, if we head across one, you'll notice there's AI characters. If you select that, here we can create an AI character to speak whichever words you want them to speak. So, if you wanted, say, a virtual presenter and you didn't want to be on camera because you're camera shy, that's okay since these AI characters have got your back. So, you'll see there's a whole library of them here with different looks. I'm going to choose this guy with a leather jacket. I'm going to type what I want him to say at the top. 
this will challenge him. And at the bottom, I'm going to choose a voice for him. So I'll try some out. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. I like this one, wacky. Okay, I'm gonna hit add. And now CapCut is going to generate our AI character. Here he is. Now let's take a listen to what he's got to say. She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Seriously, the mouth movements, the hand movements, the body language, that looked like an actual video of an actual guy. So with this AI character, you can also resize them if you want them, say, small on the left-hand side. And you can even add him over an existing video. I'm going to take it up a level. Here in Media, then Library. Here you'll find a bunch of different backgrounds you can use. And under Scenery, ooh, that looks good. I'm going to add that into my project. So now this is the bottom layer. And let's drag our Seashell Man over the top. I'll reposition him. Make him nice and big. She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Another cool AI effect that you may want to use in your videos is under stickers. On the left hand side, if you click AI generated, here CapCut can generate video overlays with a transparent background that it creates based on your prompts. So to make one, Type in what you want. I want shells. Click adjust and here you'll find different animation styles. I'm gonna choose 3D and now I'll click generate. There we go, we got some shells. I'm just gonna try it again in a different style. This time I'll try collage, which is another lifelike style. So let's try that and click generate. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. So to add this to the project, just click the blue plus and there we go. It's added our seashells as an overlay in this video, which we can resize reposition and adjust the timing of here. Might even animate them in. Let's go bounce and bounce Sells out. By okay, let's try that. She sells seashells by the seashore. The next AI effect was just too funny to leave out. So I've got a new clip here on my timeline of me saying a very important and motivational speech. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Okay, so now let's head over to effects and I'm going to go to body effects and just expand that. And I'll scroll down to funny faces. So firstly, there are a whole bunch of cool to ones catch here. them. I love the big mouth. I have a slightly immature sense of humor sometimes. So <laughs> this one <laughs> works a treat, but check this one out, cheer. To catch them is my real test. It's like forcing me to be happy. Oh, I wish there was something like that in real life. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, an even funnier one is if you choose roll here, this effect here called unfair, just, oh my God, wait until you see it. I'm gonna add it and drag it across. Now watch this. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. <laughs> wow. It's made my face look like I am genuinely sobbing. I really like the way it's got the facial expressions right with my eyebrows, the teary eyes and the quivering lip are all nice touches. And of course there aren't too many videos where you would genuinely use this and it would be helpful, but it is, I guess, helpful for a funny skit like in this video. Why can't I permanently have a happy face? It's just not fair. That's better. Howdy doody everybody. Okay, one final one. And this is one that I don't recommend you use at all, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Anyway, so with my clip selected, I'm going to head over to enhance and then toggle on face. And here you can adjust the composition and appearance of your face. So you can smooth out your skin. Don't recommend that. Whiten your teeth, could be handy. Brighten your face. Well, that actually is kind of helpful for shots where you didn't get the best lighting on your face. You can change your skin. Skin tone? No, I don't recommend that. If you toggle on facial beauty, you can make yourself slim or less slim and do all kinds of face enhancements that really should not be done. Although that hairline, wow, I have so much more hair all of a sudden. Maybe this will come in handy. I mean, I, mm -mm, no, don't use, mm -mm. Down here, you can also add makeup effects. So if you like the makeup look, then be my guest. There are also some body ones here, like straightening shoulders, adjusting the width of your body, and a few others. Again though, I don't recommend using any of those filters because personally, I believe in authentic portrayal of yourself and not overly manipulating the way you look the way you appear online. So that's it for some of my favorite AI effects available in CapCut. 
Those were super cool, totally mind-blowing. There's definitely a few of them in there that you would use in your day-to-day -day projects. I'd be curious to know which one was your favorite. Let me know down below. And adding effects like these is only a small part of the overall workflow for creating viral-worthy videos that get you noticed. If you want to learn the rest of the process from beginner basics all the way through to professional video editing techniques, I created an entire editing masterclass inside of CapCut that will make you a better video editor in just one day. If that's something you want to do, you can learn more by following the link down below. Now, earlier in the video, I touched on captions, which is an important tool to use when trying to capture short attention spans on social media. In this video, I'll show you how to add stylish captions of your own inside CapCut in just a few minutes.